This is the AxiFlow Axi Auger Hopper Attachment. We take a standard uh, AxiFlow pump and we remove the end cover and then put our augers uh, on the end where we replace the tension nuts, put the augers on, tighten them down. So now we have a polymer, food grade polymer auger, and then we have the feed screws in the pumping part of the pump. The augers are driven by the uh, pump drive, so there's no additional drives needed. There are some other systems out there that have an external gearbox and motor that drive the augers. Uh, we don't have that, and it's all still uh, cantilevered. So you can see um, how the augers come out of the hopper and accept the different products. There's some, we're using a, an ultrasound gel as a medium and we're adding uh, little super balls that can be pulled in by the augers and you'll see them come up through the sight glass. Um, there's no degradation of the, of the super balls. So we're able to uh, discharge same pressures, um, standard pump, this particular pump, uh, 150 to 200 PSI on the discharge. Um, since the auger feed is, is on the end, customer would drop a, a hopper full of either from a mixer or some sort of blender, drop it into the hopper pump, and it'll pull in the product. We're also working with uh, mixing and blending using this type of hopper as well. So we would have a liquid feed port into the side of the hopper uh, the liquid would come in and then we can use the hopper area as a powder feed. So we would drop the powders in, the liquids would mix together and be pumped to either recirculate it or continuous type blending back to the, either going to a batch tank or a uh, filler or what have you.